Okay, well, last night, and after I got the spices, I went home and I bought myself a ribeye steak, nice big piece of steak, cut it into three sections, and then on each side, I sprayed the different, I mean, I shook on the different spices. Which is? Um, let's see, I used one, I used the Santorini. Okay. And then I used the Tejon, and then I used the Cuban. Okay. And then I just flipped them over and I did the same thing. And then just let them sit there for about 20 minutes so they can get room temperature for me. I and then know. I um, heated up my skillet, got it with some olive oil, got it real hot and everything, threw all three steaks in there, and I seared each side for 30 seconds. Thing when you sear it, you can't move it. You gotta leave it alone. You gotta, can't touch it. Okay. And then after each side was done, I, you know, I flipped it, did 30 and 30. Then I put it in the grill, and I grilled each side for two minutes. So a total of four minutes, so it was a total of five minutes for the whole steak. But I like mine bloody. And then, you know, once you get used to how you want your steak, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know how long it takes. You know how long it takes. So I know on, that, on mine, that is. So then after it got all done on that, then I went to a baked potato. And I took one of them big old baked potatoes and I knifed it, you know, or, or a fork or whatever so the stuff can go inside. And I sprayed it with pan. You know, there's that butter pan. So I sprayed it with the Pam, and then on top of that, I, I, I shook on the Deep South, okay? And I did the whole thing, and then I shook, shook it on a piece of uh, wax paper. And then I rolled the potato up in the wax paper, and I put it in the microwave, because I'm lazy, I don't want to do the oven. It takes too long. So I put it in the microwave, and I let the microwave go. And when, that thing, when the baked potato was done, I took it out and let it cool, because the steaks are already cooling. You don't want to eat the steak right away, otherwise all the juices and flavors you just put in are gonna run out on the plate. So then I sat down and I had me a dinner. I, I knew each one of the steaks. I knew which one they were. And I tried them all. They're fantastic, they're all fantastic. But my favorite is that Santorini. Really? Oh my God, I'm gonna run out of the Santorini before I run out of anything else. But, I, I, I know the guy maybe might be able to find some more of that somewhere for you. That's stu that but, stuff is excellent. But you know, I have not ever put the Santorini on a steak. Really? Never have. I, well, see, the one thing I did is when I looked at it, I was reading what you could do with them. And I thought, okay, well, that's interesting. Let's try something else. Let's try something else. <laughs> got it, got it. So, I mean, that's how I am when I'm yeah. with, I mean, my spice rack is double layered. Okay. You know, because I have tons of spices yeah. from all over the world. So you know, you know, you know spices. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. So when it came to these things, you know, you want to smell them and, and for the freshness and everything like that. And every one that I opened had were sealed, so they were already fresh. Popped them suckers open and poured them on, and, and I wasn't, I was very generous. Oh, good. Oh, good. You know, I That's poured good. that stuff on That's very, good. very well. So, so good. oh yeah, they were wonderful. Oh great! Yeah, I really I do enjoy them. I, I really do enjoy them. So when I run out of these, I'm gonna get me some more. You're gonna get some more. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate it. All right.